With threats to our nation waiting around every corner, adaptability is more important than ever. When conditions change without notice, quick strategic thinking is crucial. And with obstacles consistently impending, determination is essential in overcoming them. It's this willingness, decisiveness, and resilience that sets Marines apart. With our fighting spirit, we don't just fight battles, we win them. Marines are the constant our nation counts on to fight the unknown. And through adaptable problem solving, we do just that. Learn more at Marines.com. Are you looking for a podcast that's entertaining, more bingeable than your favorite Netflix show, and informative? The Personal Finance Podcast teaches you the hacks, tips, and tactics you need to upgrade your money all while spending less and saving more. This isn't a show that teaches you to save money by clipping coupons. It's much more about learning how to build generational wealth and spending your money on the things you love. Search for the Personal Finance Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Your wallet will thank you later. This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 2344. What's a Roth conversion? Would doing conversions benefit you? By Kathleen Coxwell of newretirement.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. We're gonna jump right into today's post as we optimize your life. What's a Roth conversion? Would doing conversions benefit you? By Kathleen Coxwell of newretirement.com. Tax deferred, tax free, tax advantaged. It might sometimes feel a bit taxing to think about the tax implications of your retirement savings. But if you want to increase your estate value or reduce your taxes, then learning about Roth conversions and what they mean for your money is worthwhile. Roth conversions can be tremendously beneficial in the right circumstances. What is a Roth account? What are traditional retirement savings? Both Roth, IRAs, and 401ks and traditional retirement savings accounts, IRAs, and 401ks are tax advantaged. Tax advantaged means that the account is either exempt from taxation, tax deferred, or that offers other types of tax benefits. The main difference between a Roth account and a traditional retirement account is the specific tax advantages. Money in a traditional 401k or IRA grows tax deferred, meaning that you won't pay taxes on the money you save and invest into a qualified account. You're deferring that liability. However, you will pay taxes on the money later when you withdraw the funds. Money in a Roth account grows tax-free. Contributions to this account are made with after-tax earnings, meaning you pay taxes on the money the year you earn it, but you owe zero taxes when you withdraw the funds, no matter how much the account has grown. Another important difference between the two kinds of accounts is that Roth IRAs don't have required minimum distributions, RMDs, money that you must withdraw starting at age 73. Designated Roth accounts in a 401k or 403b plan are subject to the RMD rules for 2022 and 2023. However, for 2024 and later years, RMDs are no longer required from designated Roth accounts. What is a Roth conversion? A Roth conversion is when you take money that you have in a traditional 401k or IRA account and move it into a Roth 401k or IRA. When you convert from a traditional IRA or 401k to a Roth IRA, you'll need to pay taxes on the amount that you convert as it was not previously taxed and it's counted as income. However, once the conversion is complete, future growth and withdrawals from the Roth IRA are tax-free, provided that certain requirements are met. The new retirement retirement planner enables you to model Roth conversions to assess how the move could impact your finances now and over your lifetime. Within the planner, there's also a Roth conversion explorer to help you determine the most advantageous time to do conversions to maximize your estate value or to minimize your lifetime tax expenditure. Five times when a Roth conversion might be a great idea. Roth conversions can sometimes really save you money on taxes, but they could also cost you. It all depends on your circumstances. While you should always consult a tax expert before doing a Roth conversion, Here are five times when it will likely benefit you. Number one, higher future tax rate. If you think that you'll be paying higher taxes in the future, then converting to a Roth account is probably a good move. 
Whatever money you withdraw now will be taxed at your current rate, but not at all in the future. Tax considerations to consider might include, do you intend to relocate in the future? What is the difference between your current and future state's tax rates? Will you be earning higher income in the future? And will money from required minimum distributions or RMDs put you in a higher tax bracket? Number two, you're hoping to leave money to heirs. In many cases, your beneficiaries will pay less in taxes if the money is in a Roth account instead of a traditional account. If you plan to leave your retirement savings to your heirs, a Roth conversion may be a good idea. Since Roth IRA withdrawals are tax-free, your heirs won't have to pay taxes on the money they inherit. Number three, your savings are likely to grow significantly. Another situation when a Roth conversion could reduce taxes is when you think that the money in your retirement account will likely grow significantly. If you do a Roth conversion before you see these big gains, then you'll be paying taxes on a lower dollar amount and all growth in that account will be tax-free. Number four, withdrawals are a long way off. If you're a long way off from needing to withdraw from your traditional 401k or IRA, then a Roth conversion may be a good idea. Because Roth IRAs offer tax-free growth, they can be a good choice for long-term investments. If you have a long time horizon, such as 10 years or more, a Roth conversion may be a good idea. And number five, you don't need money from RMDs. If you're already 73 or older, then you have already started taking RMDs. If not, then you'll be required to withdraw money from traditional 401ks and IRAs starting at age 73 in 2023 and age 75 in 2033 due to new RMD ages. These withdrawals can be a nuisance and can bump you into a higher tax bracket. If you don't need the income an RMD provides, then it might make sense to convert your traditional accounts to a Roth. There are a lot of factors that go into Roth conversions. These rules of thumb may be directionally useful, but it's better to calculate potential conversions in light of your overall financial situation. Rethink a Roth conversion in these instances. Can you afford the short-term taxes? When you take money out of a traditional account and convert it to a Roth account, you'll owe taxes on the amount you convert. You need to be sure that you can afford this expense. Note, many people convert small amounts each year to spread out the tax burden. You don't need to convert an entire amount. You have a traditional 401k at your current employer. You usually cannot convert a traditional 401k you have with a current employer to a Roth IRA. You must wait until you've left the employer. The conversions will trigger surcharges or other penalties. When you do a Roth conversion, all of the money you convert from your traditional IRA or 401k will be taxed as income. However, it's not only the taxes that are costly. The extra income could impact other expenses, such as Number one, college costs. If you're paying for college, the income could impact financial aid packages. Number two, Medicare. If you're 65 or older, the more money you earn, including withdrawals from IRAs and 401ks taxed as income, the more you might need to pay for Medicare. And number three, ACA. The rates you pay for health insurance purchased from the Affordable Care Act or ACA are determined by your income. So you may want to forego conversions if it will impact your insurance costs. You withdraw the funds instead of converting. If you withdraw the money from a tax advantage account before you're 59 and a half, you'll usually have to pay a 10% penalty in addition to the income taxes you owe. This does not mean that you can't convert the money. You just need to do the right kind of paperwork to transfer your funds from a traditional account to a Roth account. The process usually involves you opening a Roth account and then asking the institution where the account is held to do the paperwork involved with the conversion. You just listened to the post titled, What is a Roth Conversion? Would Doing Conversions Benefit You? by Kathleen Coxwell of NewRetirement.com. At Discount Tire, we know your time is valuable. Get 30% shorter average wait time when you buy and book online. Did you know Discount Tire now sells wiper blades? Check out our current deals at DiscountTire.com or stop in and talk to an associate today. Discount Tire. Let's get you taken care of.
It might not always be talked about, but one of the biggest concerns for business owners is keeping their companies safe. Improve your company's cybersecurity with our sponsor, NordLocker. Now with NordLocker Business, you can secure and control your business data in an end-to-end encrypted cloud. See and manage the organization's data via your admin panel. Your business data stays protected from data leaks, ransomware, and theft. Thanks to NordLocker Business, you're able to manage members in the organization, inviting, suspending, or deleting users. You can also set up roles, user, owner, or admin to make sure that data is only accessible by the right people. And not to mention, you can check and manage your license limit and the number of currently active users, access business settings, and control file sharing outside your organization and recover your account. It's time to make sure your company is protected. See NordLocker Business in action now with a three-month free trial by visiting nordlocker.com creators with code OFD. That's a three-month free trial when you visit nordlocker.com creators and use code OFD. 2022 was the first year that I ever did a Roth conversion, so it was fun to learn about them and how they apply to my specific situation. When I retired from my corporate career a couple of years ago, I rolled my 401k into my traditional IRA for simplicity and because I had better investment options. My Roth IRA is at the same financial institution, so I knew this would make Roth conversions a little bit easier. 2022 was the lowest year of income I've ever had in my life. Seriously, it was lower than even when I was in college. So it was the perfect time to do a Roth conversion because I was in one of the lowest tax brackets. So I had the opportunity to pay just 12% tax on that money. The other reason I did the conversion is that I wanted my income to be higher than what would have qualified me for Medicaid health insurance coverage. Because my income was so low, I actually got all the money back that I paid into premiums for my ACA health insurance coverage. However, if it's too low, I wouldn't be permitted to have an ACA plan as I would then qualify for Medicaid. Some people decide to do this, and I'm relatively healthy with very little need for medical care, so it probably would have been fine. But in general, my understanding is that if you don't need to be on Medicaid, you should probably control your income enough to qualify for ACA coverage. And it should end up being free anyway through subsidies if your income is low enough. Roth conversions are an incredible strategy for those of us who retire early, but I made sure to get the thumbs up from my CPA before I did it. It needs to be done before the close of the calendar year, unlike IRA contributions, which can be done up until taxes are due the next year. And that's a wrap for another Friday show. Have a great start to your weekend and I'll be back tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.